Guys, Dan here. I'm back with a case opening of the Megatins. Uh, I decided to do a little bit more so you can actually see the ratios a bit better, I guess, for each case. Um, but I think it's pretty random. So, yeah, I've kept them sealed so you can see that they're all from a case. I've got two Bujin, say, Susanoa's there, and two Tiger Kings. And yeah, let's get on with this. So, we'll start with the Bujin one. Keep them sealed so you can see. Wow, this pack thing is in Okay, the three mega packs. Let's see what we can get. So our first card is a I can actually focus. Oh the five is Rhino. Scramble Scramble. Ghost Trick Mary and a Spellbook of Judgment. So Okay, I guess, with the um, Ghost Trick Mary, but not that spectacular. Um, next pack. Silver Mick Orange. Rank up Magic Astral for us, pretty good. Um, Mac and Fantasy's Conqueror and a Shared Ride Secret Rare. The last Mega Pack. Archfiend, Emperor, the first one, Horror, Genomix Fighter, Silver and Flower Knight, and a Pinpoint Guard Secret. So, not off to the best of starts. I mean, most of those hollows are pretty janky. But let's hope we can get a better one in the Tiger King pack. Have the next Megatons. Pack, sorry, not Tins. Bujingi Fox, Genomix Fighter, Viking Avatar, actually that's pretty good, and a Transmodified Secret Rare. So two Genomix Fighters already. A Bujingi Raven, Bujin Arasuda, Star Liege Lord Galaxion, and a Totem Bird Secret Rare. Okay, next pack. Will Prophecy, Sinister Yurashiro, Evil Swarm Kirkyo, that's pretty cool, and a Evil Swarm Exeter, nice, nice, that's a good pull, sick, that is sick pull, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're short print in the set, so, um, yeah, they're not exactly easy to get on, so I'm going to try to sort out the pile of stuff. Oh, second. <laughs> oh god, this is a bit awful. Uh, sorry about this freaking delay. I mean, all the hollows all over the place. There we go. Now on to the Fujin one. A Fifus Kieran, Constellar Omega, not bad. Shubu, uh, Shubume Princess Autumn Leaves, and a Shadow Vampire. It's not too bad pack, really. Pretty decent. On to the next pack. Sin uh, Silver Mick Orange, Rank Up Magic Baron's Force, Battling Boxing Spirits, and a World of Prophe Prophecy Secret Rare. And some more commons. Next pack. Have a Tractrix My Amelia. Mecha Fantasy's Hamstrat. Number 66 Master Key Beal. And a Part of Dichotomy. That's pretty cool. That's decent, Paul. And the Tractrix My Amelia is pretty decent as well. And to the next pack. The Tiger King one. Bujin Carnation, 
Grey Cubus Oracle, Fire Formation Yoko, and a Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley. So it's kind of like a Grey Pifu type cap pack. Okay, next pack. Bujingi Crow. Number 107, that's pretty cool. Vampire Takeover and a Rainbow Karibos, so that's a nice pack. Very nice. Some more commons there. And the next pack. We have a Fifus Kieran, Vampire Sorcerer, Vampire Hunter, and a Divine Dragonite Felgrand. Very nice. So really good pulls at the moment. Yeah, the set's so big that it's it's very likely you're ending up getting something that you probably don't want to get or something that you want to get rid of. Just because if you're looking for one or two cards in this set, it's not exactly easy to find. So yeah, because the set's so big. And I'm pretty sure that the Evil Sun X Tonight and Joker Sight are short printed. They're not easy to get. So yeah, on to the next set of Mega Packs. We have Sylvan Komashrumo. Sylvan Marshall, that's pretty cool. Bujinki Quillen and a Star Eater Seeker Rare, very nice. Some good pulls right there. Yeah, my first three cases weren't that great. Um, you can already see them on my channel. Uh, I didn't get the greatest of pulls, but I did get quite a lot of uh, Honor Arcs, which was really nice, because apparently they're really hard to find in these. Someone apparently opened uh, 500 packs and didn't get, like, only got eight of them or something. Anyway, uh, Tether Wolf. I'll say the Sylvan Hypertech, that's pretty cool. Evil Swan Kirky, oh, that's nice. And a Pot of Dichotomy, wow. These pools are pretty decent at the moment. Um, I'm not going to lie, these are really decent pools. Anyway, next Mega Pack. Yeah, you do bear in mind, the set does have a lot of bad secrets and, well, just bad hollows in general because of the previous packs had them. Uh, Bougie Jean Crane, Vampire Sorcerer. Bujiki Pavo and a Downward Magician in secret. I've of yet to get a Joker Sack, so this is kind of like a search for a Joker Sack, I guess, in a way. Like, you can see that if I want to, you know, I can get the Joker Sack. It's just, oh, it's really difficult to get. Yeah, next pack. Got a Ghost Trick Dullahan. I think that's my first one of this. I haven't seen this at all. Uh, Return of the Monarchs, Bujingi Hair, and a Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley. That's nice. I think it makes it really, uh, really budget for if you want to make Grey Keepers. You now have Imperial Tombs as a pretty easy to get card, I'd say. Um, although I might just be pulling it quite a lot, which it's not a bad thing because it's a really good card. It's like the Infinity Barrier of the deck, so. Yeah, anyway, Archfiend Giant, Coach Captain Bearman, Viking Avatar, actually, that's pretty nice. And a Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack at last. Oh my god. How long have I been waiting to get this card? Jeez. This is like... Okay, this is like how many packs now? Um, 36, 18. So this is like 126 packs. This is my first <laughs> Draco Sack. Wow. Jeez. I'm pretty sure they are short print and set like... Um, Exiton as well. They're not easy to get. Uh, but we'll soon find out in the next pack. So, that was a really good pack, obviously. Joker Sack being expensive. Balan Boxer Lead Yoke. Bujin Arasuda. Grape of Shaman. And a Torrential Reborn. Some derpier cards right there. So, yeah, this, this case opening is turning out to be really good compared to my previous one. And on to the next one. You have some more stuff. Mega pack again. We have a Vampire Duke. Grey Creepers No Woman, that's pretty good. Uh, Shaman and the First Monarch. As you can see, that's one of the derpy secrets of the set. Um, there are quite a few of them. Mainly coming from Lord of the Second Galaxy and Shadow Spectres. Well, actually not Shadow Spectres. Mainly Lord of the Second Galaxy, I'd say. Um, Ghost Strip Go Around. Sinister Yurishiru, uh, Five for Mission Yoko, and a Mistake Secret, that's pretty cool. That's very nice to get. That will make a lot of... S this basically has a lot of good cards that, you know, side deck 
side deck cards that you can use. Mistake is definitely one of those cards. Uh, Bujin Unity, Rank Up Magic, Barrier's Force, Sylvan Blade Fender, and Imperial Tombs and Neck Rally. So my playset in this case already. Very nice actually. So it's all good for those Gravekeepers players that they can actually run uh, pretty much a budget now on the more expensive Gravekeeper stuff. And some more promos there. Next. Trap Tricks, my media, that's cool. Bujin Arasu, that's my third one of that. Star Liege, Lord Gaxion, and a Grand Marg, the Mega Monarch. That's an Ultra. Next pack. Archery and Calvary. Bujin Tei, Sukiyomi. Evil Swarm Kerkion, and a Trance Modify Secret Rare. Oops, they're slipping down. Last pack of this tin. A Vampire Duke, Bujinte Susanoo, uh, Bunit Scald, and a Shadow Vampire. So not the best of pulls there, but and you can't really go wrong when you're getting hollows to honest, so. Another Susanoo. Next three packs. So track tricks, A tracks. Number one over seven, that's pretty cool. Sacred Sword of Seven Stars and a Spellbook of Judgment. Ay ay ay. That is obviously a pretty bad card now just because you can't play it. But um maybe it has collector's value, I guess. Kieran. Rank up Magic Astral Source, that's very nice. Marino Princess, Sunflowers, and another Evil Storm Exodon Knight. Nice. The second one of the case. Um, this is definitely a lot better than my previous case openings. Where I didn't get like pretty much any Exodon. But yeah, this is turning out to be really good. Anyway, uh, Fire Fist Rhino. Errors Gwyn, Knight, and World of Prophecy. So that was a really good tin, obviously. Got the um, Astral Force as well, which is nice. And on to the next pack. Bujin Regeli the Mirror. Mars Chameleon, very nice. Uh, Fire Formation Yoko, and another Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, wow. Uh, second, that's like the second one of the, t the case, wow. Th this case has been really good. <laughs> I, c I can't believe it. Like These are where all my good stuff were hiding, basically, in these cases. Wow. Lucky I opened this case. <laughs> Warbler in. Since the year issue. Uh, Ghost Trick Mary and a Star Eater, nice. Some really good pulls at the moment. I mean, I could have got loads of bad pulls like, you know, Grand Marg and all that kind of crap, but I haven't, so. It's kind of been really good at the moment. Anyway, uh, Bujin Unity, Coach Captain Bear Man, Bujingi Hair, and a Spellbook of Judgment. Got a lot of the uh, Spellbook cards. And some more commons. This common stack is actually a bit too big. So, the last two tins. Can we end on a good note? Bujingi Raven, Gauntlet Launcher, Marina Princess Sunflowers, and a Armidez a Keeper of Boundaries. Wow. This tin, these tins have been really generous. Dang, that's pretty amazing. Uh, number 64, Ronan Rancoon. Shape Sister, Hysteric Sign, and a mistake. Wow, another good secret. And some more commons again. Bujin Regeli the Mirror. 
rank up magic numeral force, evil swarm Kirkion, and a torrential reborn. And some more commons in there. So the last pack done really well actually in these. I think I've got I got a lot of evil swarm Kirkion actually, which is actually a pretty decent super. Maybe next three packs. Got a Archfiend Harris, a Necrophantom Beast Aerosquin, Sylvan Flower Knight, and a Torrential Reborn. Some more commons there. A Vampire Duke, Exion Core, Star Liege Lord Galaxion, and a Pot of Dichotomy. Wow, another one of those. Sick. Okay, last pack of the whole case, so we can get something cool. A Ghost Trick Go Round, Grey Cooper's Oracle, Ghost Trick Mary, and a Brother of Fifer's Roost. That's not bad. That's pretty good. So, yeah, really good pulls overall. I mean, this is going to be a long recap, I guess. But, um, yeah. Let's go through. The video, I mean video, the recap, sorry. So for the supers, we got quite a lot. I think got lots of Marys and um, Kirkion. Another Mary there. Being scored, another Kirkion. Yaksha. Kirkion again. Key Beetle. Kirkion, Yaksha. And a Mary. So lots and lots of supers there. Uh, now for the ultras, um, probably not the best actually. We didn't get many good ultras. If I'm going to be honest, we did get a lot of janky type ultras, but there were some good ones in there. Um, I'm not going to lie. Oracle, Uncle, Chameleon actually was good. Uh, Astral Force, 107, uh, Nobleman, Elsie, Marshall Leaf, that's good. 107 again. Mega, Genomix, and another Astral Force. So yeah, it was really good. But I think the best part of this is obviously the secrets. I got I got two of each major secret from the case. That's just insane. See, one case, and I got like a ridiculous amount. Anyway, uh, Fyfus Rooster, uh, Dichotomy. So two Reborns. Mistake, Armides, Judgment, Starry Set, Mega Phantom Beast, Joker Sack. Prophecy, Exton Knight, another judgment, Modif Transmodify, loads of Imperial Tombs, mistake again, another Draco Sack, very nice. Imperial Tombs, Downham Edition, Pot of Dichotomy, Star Eater, Dragon, uh, Felgrand, Rainbow Crevo, Dichotomy, Imperial Tombs, Exton Knight, Transmodify, and yeah, that was pretty insane. I mean, probably the best pulls, obviously. Of a case I've ever got, like I mean, the past two, the past three cases were terrible, but this case was miles, miles better. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe as always. And yeah, I will catch you guys in a future video.